Hi everyone, welcome to Channel Logics. Hope all you guys are preparing well and staying safe at your home. Since we have started our online classes in this one year span of time, we have trained several thousands of students preparing for various competitive exams. If you want to meet our expert faculty team, you can meet our expert faculty team and we are going to come across with best and unique content which will help you to crack your examinations in a smart way. We are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail. And we are going to come across with best and smart approaches which will help you to crack your examinations in very short span of time. Our expert faculty team is going to teach you each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you want, you can join our free foundation batch. This free foundation batch, you need not pay any money for this. And in this free foundation batch, you can meet our expert faculty team who are going to teach each and every subject very clearly in detail. If you have any doubts, you can contact us through these numbers. And we welcome you to be part of Channel Logics. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back to Channel Logics. Today we'll be going to discuss 13th January current affairs and in this session, we'll be going to cover practice questions and as well as descriptive concepts. So, the practice questions were designed based on your previous year question papers, the model have been considered and based on your previous day concepts, whatever we have discussed in the descriptive session of 12th January, is it clear? So based on those concepts, the questions will be given for you, try to answer for the following questions and if you want to know the answers in detail. First, you have to go through the descriptive part of previous day. Then, the procedure you have to follow is first you have to listen the class carefully, try to make a short notes and the next day that is on 13th January, whatever the practice questions will be given. So, try to answer for those following questions in a detailed way. Is it clear? So, now before going to start our session, first of all, I wish you everyone happy bogey and now First, now we can see if you want to download free PDFs of current affairs, so you can join through telegram channel, link will be provided in the description. And apart from this, many of you have mentioned and as well as I hope so, like till now every day I will be mentioning regarding Telugu current affairs, but still if you were unaware of those current affairs, go through Chandan Logic's Telugu YouTube channel, they will be uploading Telugu current affairs on daily basis. The same concepts will be discussed, whatever will be doing in the English, English session, but whatever the explanation will be done in the Telugu language. Is it clear? But because many of you have unaware of about regarding English language and you were unable to understand these concepts in the English language. So, just we were explanation will be given in Telugu language. Is it clear? So, if you want to watch, go through that channel. And now, let us have a look into our first question which is based on the appointments. So, here as I have said that from the appointments, the areas you have to concentrate. The static GK. As we have discussed in our previous session about the established ER and if it is possible headquarters, then moving to the objective, which is all about IMF, International Monetary Fund, right? So recently, a new chief economist has been appointed. So what is the name of a person? As I have said that from the appointments, the areas you have to concentrate is about the person who has been appointed and as well as about the organization. Organization comes into the scenario, you have to deal with these three particular areas. Is it clear regarding the organization? That means you should have a basic idea about the organizations, companies or institutions. Why we are doing that, right? So first you have to know. Then, now let us have a glance over the name of a new chief economist of who has appointed for the IMF, International Monetary Fund. So, here Pablo Moreno Garcia or else Perry Oliver Gaurinches, Paul Helbers or Peter Trabinsky. So, try to go through each and every option in a careful manner, then answer the following question. And have a look at second question, name the mission which was launched on the western zone of Indian Railways to track the loss of belongings of a passengers. So, recently you have to consider here the mission has been launched. This is the main objective is to track the lost belongings of a passengers. Is it clear? 
so you can see many of our passengers facing the same problem in the railways that is losing of their belongings right so to consider this and to track this lost belongings of a passengers recently the western zone has come up with one mission is it clear actually this question and this concept also we have not discussed in our previous session here to cover you the additional concepts some of the questions were involved is it clear so here if you can look at the options mission amanath or mission darohar mission nidhi or mission hifazat here your answer is option a mission amanath is it clear so actually mission amanath has been launched by the western zone of railways that is to track the lost the you can see here the lost belongings of a passengers so this is the main objective to launch the mission called mission amanath is it clear so parallelly along with the practice questions you even you can cover the additional concepts too so don't skip any of a session either the practice session or the descriptive session you have to listen carefully and completely is it clear so that you can gain more knowledge because in addition sometimes we'll be giving these type of questions also so try to listen the classes carefully and next which is regarding the important days when is actually the national youth day is observed in india and which is to commemorate what is the objective actually to commemorate the birth anniversary of swami vivekananda right so that is the main objective to celebrate national youth day at least here i have given the clue what is the clue the birth anniversary of swami vivekananda at least you have an idea about the birth of swami vivekananda then you can answer for this question that is national youth day is celebrated right so have a glance over the options 11 january 12th of january 13th january or 14th of january so try to answer the question correctly and also if it is possible try to answer for my question also that is historical background that means when actually the declaration has been took because this concept and these are the important sentences we have discussed in our descriptive part once you have go through it uh, th this is the main objective that i am informing you to take a running notes is it clear whatever the gunshot areas or else the focused key concepts you have to take a short notes so that it will be helpful while you are answering for these type of following questions is it clear next here which is regarding science and technology recently drdo conducted a test fire that is which is based on the naval variant of brahmos supersonic cruise missile actually which destroyer ship was used for testing the missile is it clear as we have discussed and also here you have to consider brahmos supersonic cruise missile and this is a category for that is for launching a c to c category what is it category c to c category and also you have to know and don't be confused as i have said that c to c category just make it clear with the pronunciation also then you can come to the concept which is the destroyer ship which was used for testing this missile is it clear the missile name is brahmo supersonic cruise missile and even i have given a question which is based on the name brahmos this is derived from the two names right and this is a joint venture of a two countries called india and as well as russia is it clear next have a glance to the options ins rajput INS Chennai or Indian Naval Ship Visakhapatnam INS actually which represents Indian Naval Ship or Indian Naval Ship Kolkata is it clear next so which city has become india's first city to have a water metro project after the launch of its first boat in the december in the, in the year 2021 the previous year and which is namely muziris is it clear so if you can look into the options Aurangabad, Bhopal, Kochi or Mysore. Here I'll be giving the clue which is in the state of Kerala. Is it clear then? Apart from this, try to answer the static GK of Kerala. That is C square G. Capital Chief Minister and Governor of Kerala in the following comment section. Is it clear? Along with this answer, try to men mention the answer for this question also. so with this we have done with our practice session now we'll be looking into international current affairs with the descriptive part so let us have a look into the first concept which is regarding a new prime minister of kazakhstan 
so recently new prime minister has been appointed for kazakhstan first here let us discuss a concept which is regarding cq right the static gk country capital and currency so here the country is kazakhstan and capital is nur sultan and moving to the currency kazakhstani tenge is it clear so this is a c cube the formula you have to follow for covering the static gk of the countries is it clear when you are coming across the country names for the states what i have said c square g capital chief minister and governor then moving to the countries or international current affairs we are discussing you have to focus on the <coughs> c cube formula sorry next and here comes to the new prime minister of kazakhstan who is that so even you can have a glance over the image also that is ali khan smiley is it clear ali khan smiley is uh, the new prime minister has been appointed for the country called kazakhstan and also the parliament of kazakhstan has unanimously approved the appointment that is of ali khan smiley as the new prime minister of Ka the country called kazakhstan and this name was actually nominated by the kazakh president kasim jomart takwai on january 11th of 2022 is it clear when this approval has been done and who has come up with this approval is it clear so here comes to the president of kazakhstan and prior to this actually 49 year old smiley served as the country's finance minister that means previously what are the working areas of a person the previous areas he used to work as a finance ministry that is from the year 2018 to 2020 then he became the first deputy prime minister in the cabinet which is in the year 2019 is it clear as a first deputy prime minister and as well as you have to consider here he also served as a kazakhstan finance minister later on now in the year 2022 he has been appointed as a new prime minister of kazakhstan a historical background of a person you have to know is it clear even you can deal with this concept under the appointment concept also as well as international news or else you can cover this under appointments next we'll be looking into new appointments so here comes to about isro so first we'll be looking into our static gk so we'll cover this first then later on we'll discuss actually why isro is it in current affair right so first actually isro headquarters and established eo static gk first what does isro stands for indian space research organization right then established year is in 1969 on 15th of august and headquarters is in bengaluru karnataka then now why it is in current affair right so recently for isro a new chief has been appointed then who is that new chief and as well as the historical background of the new chief also now we'll be going to discuss so let us look into the concept rocket scientist as somanadan you can look into the image who is the scientist rocket scientist as somanadan has been appointed as a isro new chief and even you can have here the eminent rocket scientist dr s somanadan as isro's new chairman and the space secretary and actually previously it was as we have well known c1 is a chairman for isro and recently he has completed his extended tenure also and now it is in scenario about the as dr s somanadan who is actually a doc, you can see here rocket scientist zikleo so now the person has been appointed as the isro's chairman and as well as a space secretary and previously you can see about the history of a person who has been appointed as a new chief for isro that means based on which considerations the person has been appointed actually uh, mr somanadan is an is an expert in host of the disciplines including in the launch vehicles design and as well as spe specialized in the launch vehicle systems engineering structural design structural dynamics integration designs and procedures and as well as mechanism design and pyro techniques is it clear so in these particular areas the person is has been working as an expert in the following areas and the categories so based on these considerations mr somanadan has been selected as a new chief and the space secretary for isro is it clear and also actually presently he is working as a director of vikram sarabhai space center in kerala thiruvananthapuram and he was a team leader for the integration of 
Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV during the early phases of his career. So these are his working experiences and these are the considerations and the expert areas. Is it clear? So by considering all these areas and the categories, MSS Somanathan has been selected as a new chief or chairman of ISRO. Is it clear? So try to remember the name that is Mr. or, or else Dr. S. Somanathan. Is it clear? Next, we will be moving to defense const. Recently, DRDO tested a test conducted successfully a test fire on the final deliverable configuration of MPA TGM. Actually, what does MPT AGM stands for, right? So, here, which stands for man portable anti guided missile. What is actually man portable? anti-tank guided missile so recently based on this a test fire has been conducted successfully which is by drdo defense research and development organization so now we'll be looking over the features is it clear of this mpa tga actually which is its a final deliverable configuration and this will be manufactured by a bada dynamics limited and which is at its facility in Banur Telangana is it clear? So in Banur Telangana actually this MPA TGM will be going to manufacture and also what is the purpose of testing this missile? The purpose is that to check its consistent performance at a minimum range which is 200 to 300 meters is it clear? Even you can consider here look into the image also the testing of this particular missile and also with this successful test the system is now ready for the production in the large numbers in India. Is it clear? This is by which is going to produce in large numbers because the test has been conducted successfully. And even you can consider here which has completed a successful test even for the maximum range of 4000 meters. The minimum range you can see here 200 to 300 meters. Don't be get confused. Get clarity itself here in the session. Minimum range is 200 to 300 meters and the maximum range is 4000 meters. Is it clear? So the test has been conducted even from minimum range to maximum range. Then only the missile has been selected and that means they have given the declaration as a test has been conducted successfully. And even this will be going to manufacture in large numbers in India. Is it clear? So this is all about MPA TGM. That is actually man portable anti-tank guided missile. So try to focus on the full forms. Is it clear? Next we will be having a glance over books and authors. So here the title of a book, author and the description. Now we will be going to have a look. So here the book title is Indomitable A Working Woman's Notes on Life, Work and Leadership. Actually this is a book on Arundhati Bhattacharya. Is it clear? What is that? Who is that actually? Sorry. So here it is Arundhati Bhattacharya released a book. And here you have to consider whether it is a biography or autobiography. Actually here it is a, the autobiography of Arundhati Bhattacharya. The person is actually a retired Indian banker and the former first ever woman chairperson of the State Bank of India as BI. Is it clear with the concept everyone? First you have to look over whether it is a biography or autobiography. Actually here it is an autobiography. That means the person herself describing is it clear in a particular book that we call it as autobiography. Is it clear? Even I have mentioned many times what is the difference between the biography and the autobiography. Right? Then moving to the concept. Actually her significance you have to know the first ever woman chairperson of State Bank of India. And as well as indomitable feature, the story actually going to describe the life story as a banker and as well as the difficulty she faced in the male dominated sector, right? So in this male dominated sector, how she has overcome through her life experiences. And also, she is a chairperson and the chief executive officer of the Salesforce India and a cloud based software as a service called SaaS, right? So SaaS company and which is headquarters in San Francisco, United States of America. The previous, that means these are the areas she is going to describe in her particular book. She has been described already and the particular book has been released, right? So the title is Indomitable, a working woman's 
notes on the life work and leadership her life journey regarding the sectors and how he ha she has actually overcome the difficulties also she has been described in this particular book is it clear so this is all about arundhati bhattacharya and maybe now you have raised the question who is the author of a book right so here the author is arundhati bhattacharya only right autobiography just with the name title itself you have to consider if it is an autobiography the per, the title which is related for the person will be the author is it clear so here arundhati bhattacharya's title right so the person herself is actually the author of this particular book is it clear everyone with the concept who is the author title and the description next we'll be moving to economic concept so here recently according to the some of the data which is released by the ministry of statistics and program implementation is it clear according to the ministry so try to concentrate on the ministries so here the ministry of statistics and the program so we recently released a data according to the data the actually the reports were and the result is that retail inflation which rise to 5.5% in december 2021 so here the retail inflation inflation actually which rose to 6 months high which is of 5.59% from 4.91% you have to consider here what is the difference uh, that means previously it is like 4.91% and the inflation so the terminology inflation what does it mean inflation is nothing but the increase in the prices right is it clear overall prices or else whether it will be difficult that is the rate of the cost is it clear the cost of living has been increased in the country is it clear so that we call it as inflation in the simple definition increase in the prices that we call it as inflation and actually according to the retail inflation so inflation regarding the 6 months which has raised from 4.91 to 5.559 so try to concentrate on the numerical concepts in the economy is it clear because from the economy maximum the questions will be raised on the you can see here numericals and here they will be considering actually this is due to the sharp rise in the food prices as the food inflation for the period under review also rose which is steeply to the 4.05% against 1.87% in the now in the month of november even actually the inflation is regarding the prices of cereals egg milk products and prepared meals went up during the december month is it clear that is previous month and also apart from these items even the prices of clothing and footwear education health and as well as recreation activities even the transportation these also witnessed in the rise of december month compared to november month is it clear so based on this the overall conclusion is that retail inflation rise to 5.59% in the month of december 2021 and the data has been released by the ministry of statistics and the program implementation is it clear so try to note down the definition of inflation also increase in the overall prices is it clear then try to mention in comment section what does the terminologies use that is quite opposite for inflation is it clear and try to mention the definition of that the opposite word also inflation is nothing but increase of a prices then what is the opposite word for inflation in the economy is it clear because as i am discussing and dealing with these terminologies because you have to be perfect with the basics right so from each and every subject so that you can grow up in your particular subject with the perfect explanation and also if you are having a detailed idea about the basics then you can construct right and also as today we have discussed even about the autobiography like some of the terminologies actually whatever we have discussed today and also you have to consider like the full forms so maximum chances will be there even i have like uh, came across many of your previous year question papers also so there i have uh, came across the questions like you can see regarding the static gk questions nearly 5 to 6 questions will be in your hands right that is the main reason i am say like repeatedly i am giving the information to focus on the static gk and also like full forms what does suppose let us consider here mptgm stands for so with the similar changes that means with the small changes they'll give the options see let us consider here mpa tgm right so how the options will be like man portable anti tank guided missile right so here just they'll be changing the word like man 
is it clear so they will giving they will give some other word instead of man or else here man importable with the portable word importable they will be mentioning i am they will be adding so that you were unable to recognize which is the correct option is it clear so make it clear whenever you will be coming as a short forms try to know about the full forms of those words and then moving to the concept regarding the static gk right so some of the important institutions or space research centers so these are the concepts you have to look and in soon also we'll be preparing and we'll be giving the sessions on the static gk too one fine day we'll be going to cover so this is all about our today's current affairs so whatever the questions that means in the starting of our session we have discussed the practice questions right so in that practice questions even regarding some of the new concepts also the questions were raised so try to listen the classes carefully without missing and with this we have done with our session so and majorly i will be focusing on the static and the dynamic gk to cover parallelly so try to listen the classes and as well as try to answer for the following questions and if you have doubts regarding our descriptive session or if you were like a feeling difficulty to approach the practice questions wherever you are facing the difficulties try to mention in comment section so i'll be giving in detail explanation for you also if it is possible we'll repeat the question also but try to mention the date and the question is it clear so like that means on which day current affair you will be having a doubt so try to mention if it is like not on this day also like previous days also you can mention your doubts will be clarifying your doubts is it clear everyone thank you everyone we'll be meeting in our next session with some other topics until that stay tuned stay safe and stay home happy pongal everyone <music>